What's up, e-bikers? Today on the channel, the K8 electric scooter from a strangely named company called Tiff Gallup. I don't normally review scooters on the channel, but these guys reached out and said, hey, check this, e check this scooter out. We think you'll like it. So here we go. So the specs on this, on this e-scooter are kind of crazy. We're looking at dual motor, 3,000 watts on each hub down here on these little kind of like fat mini tires with this uh, street tread here. That's right, 3,000 watts on each end of this e-scooter. Uh, and that's mated to this giant battery down below the deck here. This is a 60 volt, 38 amp hour battery on an, an e-scooter. And uh, it actually comes with two chargers, maybe two charging ports, so you can uh, charge it faster. Uh, it's a little odd. I'm not sure why they didn't give you one big charger uh, to do that. But uh, this is what your this is where the battery stored. This is a very heavy scooter. It weighs like 100 and I think 12 pounds, uh, roughly. And it comes with a seat, as you can see. You can take it on or off. You can actually fold it as well. It folds down uh, that seat. Uh, I put the seat on because I'm pretty tall for this scooter, even though it's pretty tall itself. Um, when I stand on it, uh, I feel too tall for it almost because uh, the handlebars don't really come up. They're just kind of in a fixed position right here. Um, but uh, it's a pretty interesting little scooter. I, I don't normally do scooters on the channel. You know, I'm a little old for that, so uh, I keep things uh, simple and just do e-bikes. But, um, yeah, this is the uh, K8 scooter from, again, this strangely named company called Tiff Galop. Now, one, one tip for Chinese companies, if you're going to make uh, a, any kind of e-bike brand or scooter brand, definitely need to Americanize those names more. Um, it, something that people understand and can pronounce. Um, I don't know what that means, Tiff Galop, but it surely is strange. Uh, and... Uh, Here's a look at the uh, the scooter itself. I had to put on the uh, seat, and I had to put on the uh, fenders here, tighten up the uh, turn signals, and that's about it as far as assembly goes. wasn't too bad. Of course, it just folds down. The uh, handlebars fold down, um, and it's got uh, dual motors. It's got a turbo mode. Um, it says 28 miles an hour on the site. I think it goes faster than that though. Uh, 30 newtons of torque. Um, and uh, it's got a really neat party trick, right? So, looking at this scooter, uh, it looks like you're kind of normal, run of the mill scooter. Uh, but let's turn it on here first. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the cockpit of the handlebars first. So you got your uh, ergonomic grips here. You've got hydraulic brakes. These are DY Island. Let's see here. DY Island are the hydraulic brace on this thing. You turn the bike on on the left hand side here, it shows you your voltage. So I think uh, 60 volts is about 65 max. Uh, you got your turn signals down here, you got your horn, and your lights. Now, let me do the turn signals first, show you what this looks like. There's the left one on. Very nice. Turn the right one on. There's your right one. And now for the party trick. So this little button right here, on and off. Get ready, wait for it. One, two, three. Ta-da! We're looking at a fluorescent lighting pattern basically all around the uh, scooter. So I'm going to do a night ride for you coming up. But this is uh, perfect for Miami Beach, right? Uh, I could just see that. Um, be a great rental scooter uh, business for Miami Beach, uh, as they say. I mean, you can't get, uh, you'll definitely be noticed on this scooter, and they're not going to mistake you for anything else on the road. Um, 
get a little closer-up shot here. Here's the deck. It's got a nice purple LED fluorescent type pattern going on. You can't change the... Um, it's just kind of a random pattern. You can't change it manually. But that's what you're looking at with the K8 scooter here. So it's got these massive little headlights down here as well. Even there's some fluorescent around that. Uh, it's like a blue. I don't think that changes, but uh, it's got fenders. It's got a suspension down here. Looks like a reverse fork. Um, and then up here on the right-hand side, here's the uh, control panel. So you turn that on. You got three modes, one, two, and three. You've got um, power button, obviously. And this is your uh, trigger uh, throttle, I guess, if you will. A um, little weird setup here because, like, when you're using this, you can't really touch the brake. So you have to use your left hand on the left-hand side brake uh, when you're using the throttle here. Um, that's kind of awkward because I'd like to have both hands on the throttle if I could. would be cool if this was, like, a, a twist throttle. But I think a lot of scooters have this type of setup, if I'm not mistaken. I've only ridden two scooters in my life. My buddy Lenny... Ugh, who's in my uh, Connecticut e-bike group, has one. And uh, his goes like 40 miles an hour. And then I rode a, one of those blue uh, uh, bird scooters in Nashville. I rented one one time going to my event. Um, but uh, here are the buttons for, uh, you got Eco and Turbo, and you've got a single or dual mode here. Just press those and it toggles between each of them. And that's basically how the uh, scooter works. Very simple setup. But that uh, light package is pretty cool, right? Um, really, it'd be really cool if somebody made an e-bike like this uh, with that kind of lighting package. I would love to see an e-bike um, from these guys with the same kind of lighting setup. That would be really neat uh, for night riding um, where you go. Well, let's go uh, get this thing on the road. I'll do a quick uh, tour around the neighborhood. All right, guys. The speedometer is in kilometers, so that's why I got the app up. I'm in uh, mode one right now. Let's bump it up to uh, mode two. So we're doing 12. miles an hour. We're in eco mode by the way. Not turbo. I'll up to three. Let's try a little hill climb first. See how this does. I'm in eco mode. Single motor I believe. It's a little wet out today so 11 miles an hour. It's gonna get steeper up here. Twelve, eleven, ten. Yeah, climbed it just fine. Didn't feel sluggish at all. all right, we're not going on uh, Main Street with this thing. So turn around here. It's got a very limited turning radius, so that's about as far as you can go. So keep that in mind. The brakes are pretty good. Um, no complaints about the brakes. I'm doing 16. Put them on right now. Look at that. Didn't even skid. Not too bad. All right, I'm gonna put it in turbo mode. And, uh, wait for this lady to go by, but. Turbo, dual. Okay. Is that single? There it goes, that's, that's dual mode. Front, front wheel just kicked out. This thing wants to pull. It skids out. 
I mean, I, I'm barely touching it. <laughs> very sketchy, very sketchy. I don't trust it on this wet pavement either, so let's see here. Whoa! We had like 22 there, I think. Um. <laughs> Man, that's fast. It doesn't it's only set 1820, but I put it back in single mode here. Now it's in turbo, single mode, I think. We're in mode three. All right, we're doing 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. 24, 25, I got I got a break here. Stop sign. So this is where we get to 28 in single mode, dual, uh, mode three, single speed. All right, let's hit that 28 miles an hour here. It's 25, 26. 28. Ooh, 29. I was I felt like we were going faster too. There's a slight downhill there, but this thing is plenty fast. Um, I bet if you're a shorter rider you feel a little more stable on it than I do, but yeah, it'd be crazy. Let's pull over, I'll give you my final thoughts here. Okay, so I kind of feel like I went riding a rascal scooter almost. <laughs> Those uh, little rental things you see in, in Walmart um, because of the seat. But again, you can take the seat off if you don't want to. It's, uh, you just undo the bolts right here and uh, you can ride it like a normal scooter. So again, if you're tall, do not get this. You, you, you'll feel way out of place. It's just there's not enough um, height on the handlebars to you know, do that here. I'm trying stand on this thing and you can see it's just it's my hands are really low it's uh way too sketchy to steer this thing at my height so you know much better for somebody shorter um i mean it's it's you know if i if i was 20 years old i'd probably say hey give me this thing uh i mean these lights are sick i've never seen lights like that in a scooter and uh would love to see that on an e-bike one day so typical app they do make e-bikes and uh short story so they email me they're like hey chris love your channel we've got e-bikes and e-scooters uh we'd like to review something i go yeah send me the e-bike and then they said uh, oh well actually we're a little out of stock on those so how about the scooter so uh they said you'll like it i said okay so this is what showed up in the uh in the box but um it's uh, interesting, a little different for the channel. Um, yeah, I'm not a big scooter guy, but I think some people will really enjoy this. Lenny, one of my subscribers and friends, uh, he'll probably love this thing. But uh, that's the Tifgalop K8. Uh, 1500 bucks, I think, on their website. I'll throw a link in the description. Uh, I think it's like $14.99, roughly. Um, you, get a lot, you get a lot for that. You get a, this thing's probably going to go, gosh, 60 amp hours, 38 or 60 uh, volts, uh, 38 amp hours. This thing's got some massive range. I don't know what the range is, but I'm sure it's big. 50, 60, 70 miles, my guess. Uh, particularly if you put it in eco mode. Um, I mean, this thing is uh, its pretty cool looking. It's got these little bat wing fenders down here. Little shield. And uh, again, if you're riding this at night, you're gonna be seen like nobody's business. But uh, that's it. That's the K8 scooter, guys. What do you think? Throw a comment on the channel and the video, and uh, we'll see you next time on Chris Cross.